In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth sincerity. You know, the Lord, His grace and mercy run deep. You know, any man that was able to receive this truth and not be caught up in the matrix, that's a beautiful thing. You know, um want to get one thing straight. This ain't for everybody. All right. The scriptures clearly say that two thirds is going to be cut off and die. Scriptures clearly say that the elect obtained it and the rest were blinded. But when you read scriptures like this, it's supposed to light a fire inside you. But it's only going to light a fire inside those that is meant for those who the Lord chooses. You know, the more and more that I look into the world, talk to people, watch TV. You know, I just see the proudness, you know, on everybody. The proudness is is ridiculous. I mean, you got you got men out here, women out here, really living life without care. You know, it's a it's a very proud thing because you can't say you believe in God. And do the things that people do. You try to tell a man. You know about the most high. Or a woman. To repent. For you can receive salvation. And you know. What's funny. Is that these people. Going to be the main ones. Trying to call on the Lord. In that day of trouble. And I always say. Ask yourself. Just ask yourself. And. and be truthful. Do you really believe that you deserve to be delivered? It's crazy to me that people have the mindset of they deserve to be delivered. And they don't have to say it. I just know people. You know, um, when the wicked runs the world, of course, he turned everything upside down. And he never told the truth. And now the Lord put the spirit on certain men. And they out here declaring the truth. And it's so far-fetched. Because the world that we live in is turned upside down. So, everything is out of course. Everything is out of order. And the Lord is the one that restored order through his law. You know, the law overall... It's the ecosystem of everything, man. How all things consist and how all things is supposed to be ran. You know, so the most high, he have, he have mercy, man. Read this scripture in the times of this ignorance. What ignorance of you not knowing the truth? You live in the way that you want. The most high winked at. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Do you understand the grace and mercy that is? Because as the scripture says in Romans 8 and verse 20. That the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason to be subjected for the same in hope. So we are subjected. To vanity, we are subjected to hope. You got people who got hope in the wrong things. They trust in their self. They trust in their enemy, the so-called white man. All right, the devil that the Bible speak of. They trust in uncertain riches, this dollar, all right, that could be taken and devalued at any time, all right? Been a lot of rich men, rich women who went bankrupt. Because the fucking money system is corrupt anyway. Every dollar you receive is interest on it. So you're always in debt. 
All right. But for the most how to wink at. Because all you have to do is repent. All you have to do is repent. But that's how you know that a higher power is involved because it's simple to us. Sometimes you get um little um flustered because you be like, what? I don't get it. Like, how you don't understand this truth? Like, it's so plain. But the scripture said that it's plain to him that have understanding. The Lord ain't give everybody understanding, but that's what make this truth special, man. Now, I'm not going to get a lot of scriptures in this video, man, because this scripture says enough. I'll probably get a couple more. But people better get their shit together, man. People better get their shit together because it ain't it ain't funny. It never was funny. But now, as the scripture said in Ecclesiastes chapter three. That is a time and place for every action under heaven, man. So you have to ask yourself, what time are we in? Because we ain't in a time for love and we ain't in a time for peace. We in a time of hate. We in a time of war. We in a time of destruction. If you watch the news, you should see that we in a time of death. Because that's what they pushing. All they push is death, 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 man. Hiking up numbers. You know, second lockdown coming, man. So while the um, NBA Finals just finished, you know, so that part of the entertainment is done, but you still got social media. You know, it's time to get it together, man. And the Lord's name is not Jesus, it's Yahweh. And the Father's name is not Father, it ain't God, it ain't Yahweh, it ain't Yahuwah, it ain't none of that, it's Yahweh. All right, those names mean something. Yahweh, the Father, mean He is, He exists. All right, because He's omnipotent. All right, He's all knowing, all powerful. That's why His name means that. Yahweh Shai, which means He delivers or He's salvation because He's the one that's going to crack them clouds and come deliver His elect, aka the ones that do what He say. To the best of their ability and believe on his name. Because believing is an action word. So a lot of people going to find out the hard way. That. It's real simple. And I'm about to be very straightforward. Everybody is bound to the word whether you believe it or not. Just because you're able to have an opinion. Just because you're able to not. I mean, just because you're able to have an opinion, just because you able to disagree, just because you can cast the word behind your back and say, I don't believe, as the scripture says in Romans 3 and 3. What if some did not believe that I make the faith of the most high with none effect? God forbid. All right. For every man is a liar and God is true. So. You have the believing world you have the unbelieving world the scripture says that it be many more of them that perish than them that will be saved all right so that's why you look into the world and the and the truth and the scriptures is so contrary to this world because the bible said that it would be all right matter of fact let's get that it was prophesied that the world would be this way It said the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they see it's talking about somebody. The inhabitants is talking about the wicked. They is talking about the wicked because the Lord gave the world into their hands, the earth. I mean, so you have to understand that when you go to Job 9 and 24, and it said that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. It was given unto him. All right. 
So this is why the world is defiled. And it said they have transgressed the laws. All right. So the whole world is out of course because they don't follow the rules and the law of the Bible, which the law of the Bible consists of everything. The whole ecosystem of how everything is ran. All right. All the way into how you plant, all the way into what animals to eat, what animals to leave alone. All right. To not cutting down trees because that's what gives off oxygen. But this man loves to cut down trees. All right. So it say because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right. So everything that the Lord say uh, don't do, they do. From a man changing his sex to a woman and vice versa. And then you have to um, basically, uh, I ain't going to say glorify it, but you might as well say that, you know. But then you have to accept it. And if you don't accept it, then you get looked down on. You say anything, it's hate speech. All right. They pushing this to your children. They teaching um, sex ed classes in elementary schools in certain places. Like, come on, man, this world got to go and it's going to go. But as the scripture says, he command all men everywhere to repent. And that all is talking about Israel, because you got to understand Paul was going to Israelites in these um, in these um, countries, man. So. It's time. To seek the Lord while he may be found. Because he's still able to be found. That the the um the prices is going up in the store for the food and on top of it being food shortage. Alright. And then so you got you got the gas prices going up, the food prices going up, food shortages, you in the other part of the world's overseas, which this place is going to be safe for last. A lot of people watch that news and be like, wow, it's going it's going crazy over there. You think it ain't going to touch here. It's going to be worse here. The Lord saving the best for last. Cuba, which is right under Florida. All right. Not that far. From the United States, they wiped out their bank accounts, took all their money. All right. They going through it right now. And you think all the money, if you got some money, all the money that you got in the bank, they, they, you acting like you own that money. All right. The bank own that money. It's, that's why it's called Federal Reserve Notes. They own the money. All right. And they could charge you what they charge you interest on their money. All right. That's why you always in debt. But anyways, man. It's time to repent. And I'm going to end it on this scripture right here. Because sometimes people think like. um That we just be talking. This is people think that it's some type of fear thing. It ain't no type of fear thing. This is just what it is. So it's say for we must all appear before the judgment seat of, of Hamashiach. All right. That's how you say um, anointed or Christ in the Hebrew, Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. And that's what you call reap what you sow, as the world call it karma. All right. So you're going to pay for everything that you do. So you think because since you haven't been judged for all the wickedness that you've done, that everything is going to be all right. All right. The first scripture that I started the video with all that he command all men everywhere to repent. Now, imagine that if you did repent all those things that you've done, the Lord will wink at that, man. And you will be started on a clean slate. Imagine that. But guess what? You're going to die in your sins. And here's the point. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So don't think that just just some fear monger, fear grab, 
We telling you that the Lord is about to destroy this place. He's going to destroy two thirds of his own people. All right. Because they're not going to get right. And if you contemplating on, you know what? I think I'm going to try this. Nah, the scriptures say, make not tarrying to come to the Lord. Because he said he's going to, you know, come upon you all of a sudden in your security. All right. Because right now you got a lot of people who comfortable. They either got some um, some money. They either got drugs and alcohol, which keep them, you know, not living in reality. But when those things get taken away, then what? All right. But it say we are made manifest unto the most high. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. All right. Because when you hear this word, it's supposed to light a fire in you. All right. The Lord is going to kill people, man. He's going to kill a lot of people. See, we grew up thinking that um, sweet Jesus was all love. But when you actually get into these scriptures and the Lord dealing with you, he's supping with you. He had grace and mercy upon you to the, send down his Holy Spirit. So now you know his word. You realize like, wait a minute. I better get my S-H-I-T together. All right. So. I know what the scriptures say. Two thirds of his people ain't going to listen. But hey, we still got to do the job because the scripture said in Ezekiel 3 and 18 that if you warn not the wicked to turn from his wicked ways, then their blood would be on your hand. And guess what? Y'all ain't that worthy. So I'm going to do what the Lord say. So hopefully this video was edifying. And Shalom. Time is short.